Hey, this is Yvette LeBoy from Inspired Wellness, Nutrition, and Transformational Lifestyle Coaching. www.inspiredwellness.org Well, today my topic is going to be about azúcar, sugar, that sweet stuff that we're so addictive to that gives us that roller coaster ride and when we fall down, we feel mm, crappy. Anyway... The average American consumes 142 pounds of sugar per year. Did you know that? That's a lot. Well, why do we crave sugar? I want you to know that it's not your fault. Um, um, food industry has created, they design food to, to be craved, irresistible, and addictive. They use a perfect combination of sugar, fat, salt, and chemicals. And they create this, you just can't have just one experience in the laboratory. So um, you become addictive and you want more and you want more, especially like with sugar, you know, the sweet stuff. Um, sugar is addictive. It's a destructive substance. And when we eat it, it releases um, good mood chemicals in the brain, such as dopamine and um, endorphins, norepinephrine, and serotonin. So sugar can run down your immune system and it, excuse me, itch in the eye. It leads to metabolic syndrome. It can exhaust your pancreas um, and the inflammation that it causes. Know that inflammation is the foundation for disease and it can lead to insulin resistance, obesity, diabetes, heart disease, even cancer. Um, you know, so it's not good for you and, and it also interferes with the absorption of vitamins um, minerals such as calcium and magnesium can cause candida, which is a, a yeast infection, hypoglycemia, and obesity, and diabetes. Diabetes is the number six cause of death in this country. Um, we have spent 92 million, billion, excuse me, 92 billion in medical costs due to diabetes. Um, so it can also increase can um, cholesterol, um, cause headaches and migraines, and it messes with the structure of your collagen, the sugar, leads to Alzheimer's, causes insomnia. So what can you do, okay? What can you do about this sugar and sugar addiction? Well, addiction, excuse me. I would say read labels. Look for HFC, which is high fructose corn syrup. Um, look for things like sucrose, maltose, dextrose, lactose, which is the sugar in milk. Anything that ends in os means that it's a sugar. And also, what you can do is try other sugar alternatives. And I'm not talking about Splenda or Equal. They're not natural sugar alternatives. As a matter of fact, Splenda has a chemical in it that kills your brain cells, okay? So, don't use that. Try raw honey. Try stevia. Stevia, they, they, they make stevia in different flavors as well if you don't like the original flavor of it. Um, much better for you. Much, much better... Um, for your body um, and also don't keep it in your house if you don't have it in your house you're not going to be tempted to eat it makes sense anyway it's important to know that everything we put into our body either increases our health or disease and we want to increase our health because we want to live long happy lives that's all I have to say today about sugar. If there's a topic that you want me to speak about in my next video, reach out to me at inspiredwellness at yahoo.com. My name is Yvette LeBoy. I am from Inspired Wellness Nutrition and Transformational Lifestyle Coaching, www.inspiredwellness.org. At Inspired Wellness, we inspire women to get healthy and transform their lives because we want you to become that fabulous diva you were born to be. See you next week.